Hello everyone. Welcome to our Scratch Junior channel. I'm Gary. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the rest of the motion blocks for characters and the usage of the triggering block for the poses. As suggested before, please use a pen and a piece of paper to sketch the story first before creating the project. Now, let's add a new project and create a story. Always remember our four steps for the project. Step 1. Where does our story take place? Let's say our story takes place in a basketball field. In order to add a basketball field as the background for our stage, we click the landscape image on top of the interface screen. Then, we select Dream as the background for our stage. There you go. Step 2. Who are the characters in our story? Our story has two characters, the cat and the basketball. We'll make use of the cat which is added to our project by default. And we need to add a basketball as another character. Click the Add button on the left side of the interface screen. Then we select basketball as the character. There you go. Step 3. Where are the starting positions for our characters? We need to decide where our characters should be located on the background. Let's move the cat to the left side of the gym and a basketball near the cat's hand. There you go. Step 4. What are the actions for our characters? Once we have the background, characters, and starting positions of our characters, we can make up our stories. In our story, the cat throws the basketball up in the air and the basketball falls back down to the ground and it bounces a few times before it stops on the ground. Okay, let's add the scripts for the cat and the basketball. Turn on the grid of the stage. Click the cat character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the poses for the cat. Let's add start and end activities block first. Then you want the cat to touch the ball. You can add move right block in the poses so that the cat is able to touch the ball. Click the basketball character. We want the basketball to be thrown in the air when the cat touches the basketball. Add start on bump and end activities block first. Start on bump block means the poses will start when the character is touched. Let's add the move right block. Then add the hop block with 5 steps. The basketball will jump up and down for 5 steps. Then add move down block to move the basketball to the ground. Then add another hop block with 4 steps. Then 3 steps. Then 2 steps. And then 1 step. OK. Done. Let's test our script. Very good. The cat hits the basketball. And the basketball is thrown in the air and it bounces a few times before it stops on the ground. We can turn on the presentation mode on top of the interface screen and run our story in full screen mode. Let's run our story. Cool! The final step is to name our project. Click the yellow button on the top right corner of the interface screen. Let's change the name to Bouncing Basketball. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.